in the next video we are going to talk about uh, we are going to keep talking about the linux file system and specifically we are going to talk about the file tree and the mount points okay so which are the goals of these this video we are going to learn about the file tree a bit we go we will go deeper into it uh later on in in the next video but i i want to show you some stuff so you understand what are mount points otherwise i'm not going to be able to, to understand it and we are going to learn about mount points and why they are important and what are they used for okay so the linux file tree okay uh this is a typical linux file tree and it's called a tree because it's an inverted tree as you can see it starts with the root and goes to the bottom and the important thing now uh, uh besides from the folders or the directories that are are branching from the from the root is that in linux there's always one and only one and always one root uh, directory okay always there's a root and from there everything branches and starts uh, and the directories start to to grow in branches okay why this is important because there are other operating systems like for instance windows where everything is organized uh, it, it it's also organized in trees but there can be many root uh, root directories which for instance in windows are called uh, units like you uh, c unit d unit e unit or whatever and from there uh, you can branch like c double dot uh, back backlash backslash uh, and you start uh, navigating the 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 tree okay in in linux there's all there's a root uh, directory and from there you branch okay we will talk about these these special directories and stuff like that in the next video so I don't want you to, to pay too much attention to it right now. And from there, uh, we'll talk about mount points, okay? Uh, each file system in Linux needs to be mounted somewhere, okay? Uh, that somewhere is the mount point where uh, that file system is attached to the root folder, okay? In any level of the, of the tree. Okay, but each file system needs to be attached to the root folder uh, somewhere. Okay, that somewhere is the mount point. That's why it's important that you understand that there's a root, uh, a root, a root folder always. Okay, uh, as partitions, they have their own file system because they are configured with some file system. Each partition needs to be mounted always somewhere also. It, ha it needs to, to have always a mount point, okay? A mount point. So, recapitulate. Uh, where each file system is mounted is called mount point. Uh, partitions need, need to be mounted always. And mount points are super important because it's where the, the, the file system is going to start branching its own file tree, okay? So let's see it um, in a working example because otherwise you're not going to understand it. Uh, let's say that uh, you have your pen drive and you want you want to plug it in, in in your computer and you want to navigate it. Okay, this is your pen drive, the orange file tree. Okay, and it's called your USB and has movies, TV shows and I compute a folder a directory called uh, computer systems deliverable task okay so you want to navigate it you want to access your files uh, when you connect it to, to Linux uh, it you're not going to be able to access it because as I was saying you have to mount it you have to define a mount point for it otherwise it's going to be a, a file system floating somewhere but as it's as it's not mounted in your in your file tree you cannot access it okay so how do you mount it you specify a mount point you will see how uh, when we do exercises and we talk about commands but you mount it in slash opt slash media 
slash my USB. Okay, so the mount point is this one. Okay, you mounted your USB drive in media so you can access it. Okay, so that's mounting and you need to mount it because your uh, USB has its own file system and so you, you have to, to mount it. Okay. Uh, these special folders may have also different partitions, may, may be in different partitions, so they have to be mounted also. And anything that has its own file system needs to be mounted. I, I choose I chose the, the USB uh, example because USBs or pen drives or external memories always have different file systems, so you have to mount them. If you add a hard disk to the to the computer, you need to mount it. If you add a pen drive, a flash uh, card, uh, anything external about the storage that that has another file system, even though if it's the same as the one using being used by uh, the operating system, it's going to be another one because it's the same format, but it's not the same file system. Okay, so you have to mount everything. Okay, take that in care. Uh, take care with that. Uh, sorry because you can forget to mount something and it's not going to work and it's not going to, you're not going to be able to access it, okay? So about the goals of the video, we are going to recapitulate. We talked about a bit only about the file tree. We will go deeper into it in the next video. And we learned about mount points, why, what they are, what they are used for and why they are important.